completion of my university or college days, one thing I sort of struggled with was how to take up new knowledge or learn something new, right? And it's basically in the technical field. I mean, you literally understand with me that while growing up, there's sort of like a straight pathway for anyone who wants to get to, get to the education or college or whatever um, line of institution, right? From age two or age three, you're literally enrolled in a nursery school first step after that you go on to primary school and then you then move on to your secondary school or you, and then university and there's literally a step-by-step -step crafted out process already outlined for you at that time right and this process has the right structures you think about it and even the right people as well so that's your teachers or your guidance counselor to actually need you and I mean you don't even have to pay anything at that time because at that point you're literally dependent on your parents or guardian but now the question is how do you actually learn new things if you're just starting out in a relatively new field or in a field where you have little or no knowledge in as well as in a field where there are literally no processes no structures literally nothing really available for you right and i think i have like a very good answer for that and i would like to show you hey everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're just coming by for the first time you're most definitely welcome in this video i'll be sharing with you how to learn technical things fast and this video came about because of the fact that i actually went through this path and also i know that a large number of people who are subscribers on this channel are people who are looking to break into the space of data analytics or even tech in general so it just made sense for me to come up in here and just like share with you how to learn technical things fast now the first thing i want to let you know is that learning a foreign language like spanish dutch is hard right not even talk of even learning technical tool and now that's like literally even harder and when starting out in the field of data analytics or even tech in general i literally like dabbled into different technical field um i started off learning software engineering and then i went into building mobile apps especially android right and i never ever really got to even completing any of these projects so i literally understand what it means or how it feels literally like learn something new right i never really got to completing any of the courses or even the tutorials i even enrolled for i mean they were even online courses right and um i think it was because i I thought it was hard and I was not really so excited or looked forward to even continue learning. So what did I literally do differently? Now that's the question, right? Um, what did I do differently that made me learn technical things faster and what can you do as well? So in my last two videos or three, I believe, I think in that second last two videos or the last three videos, I literally spoke about how to get started in the field of data analytics. I defined a roadmap as well to even looking to break into this field and also highlighted a couple of courses that I would recommend for anyone who is looking to break into this into this field to literally learn, right? Um, I recommended these courses based on my personal experience, right? And good thing about these courses is that this courses goes beyond just learning, right? You also be learning by doing. So what that means is you're also working on projects. So now in this video, I'll be highlighting the different approach I took. So literally learning or like say learning technical things or even breaking into space of data analytics, right? Now the first thing I would say is um, know your peak learning time or your peak learning period and literally go all out, right? It's just sort of like you're hacking your brain in, in some way. So what that means is you're literally finding your most productive time of the day and you get more things done when you know the times that actually works for you as a person. Understand this, right? Self-awareness is the first step to self-improvement. I would give you like a typical example for myself as a person. So while I was getting started in the field of data analytics, I had no job at the time, right? So it meant that I literally had enough time in my hands. And one thing I found out was that for me personally, my peak period were between 10 a.m. in the morning to like 12 p.m. when no one was around. And also at night, so I literally be learning up until like 1 a.m. when the lights are off. And I know that's not a good thing for me as a person because of my eyes, but I was just used to determined to get it done. And I knew that I needed to maximize this time that I do have as a person, right? Just to ensure that I'm utilizing the time. And at that period were my most productive times. So I sure to utilize those times to gather as much information I could and also relax my brain as well too. So these were times that I did not even take lightly. So right now it's a full-time job as a nine to five data analyst, right? And other responsibilities as well too. It's usually in the evening for me that I would that I have my productive time and that's around 5 p.m. to like 10 p.m. in the evening or yeah 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. so what I'm saying here is to literally leverage those productive time and use those hours wisely the second point right now is for you to understand what type of learner you are right so um know what literally works best for you as a person so are you someone who learns things by reading documentation or studying books or are you someone who literally learns things by 
watching videos or watching tutorials or looking at a pictorial display of something new, right? Is that how you learn, right? Do you literally understand a particular thing or do you grasp things faster when you read a book in a particular domain? Right? For me as a person, I'm more of a visual learner and I know that that's what works for me. So I learn faster and comprehend faster when I'm watching a course. That way, I know that I am able to see how things are being done in real time, right? Even as little as able to the click on a particular button, right? Or whatever tutorial I'm learning. So for me, I know that that's um, how I learn. I'm a visual learner. So it could be for you that you literally learn um, by reading books, which is totally fine. And if that's the way, then you should go along with it, right? In this field, in the technical field in general, right? Um, it's really not about just learning every single syntax, I would say. Or even statement, or even like um, the drag and drop your analytical tools in whatever visual relationship to your learn because honestly speaking when you are employed you literally find yourself is something new or maybe different from what you literally like have learned already what i mean in essence is that you do not need to memorize of everything frankly speaking um when i literally started learning sql right um i took course upon course upon course and i never really saw how to apply it and I didn't even see or realize the difference between something at least in a inner joy from a right joy, right? And I only got to understand it into the entirety when I got my second job as a data analyst. So in essence, what I'm trying to say is that yes, you're learning something, right? But question is, you should also understand the kind of learner you are, whether you're a visual learner or you like reading books or probably documentation. And sometimes you don't really need to go as in-depth as you think you should because you would only get better by practicing and most likely when you also even land your first job, right? Now the whole point of learning something new is for us to use them, right? If not, what's the point? Now the third point is for you to actually set a goal and actually work backwards. I am a firm believer personally of actually setting goals. I know that we've heard this in million and one times. We've heard about setting a goal and breaking them down and it actually does work, right? Now the whole point of this is you want to literally um, trick your brain or trick your mind to be excited about hitting that goal and you're also literally hacking your hormones as well to, to be triggered upon accomplishing that specific task now this hormone is called dopamine and it's an important part of your brain reward system right so it's more like a feel-good hormone that actually gets triggered once you hit or you accomplish something new and i have seen how personally how setting goals and breaking them down into small chunks helps to like certify your new learning and also fast track your learning progress as well too. and you learn technical things having a project as a goal is a very good way to start guys it's a very good way to start i must say now this is actually where the real learning starts so for example you have a goal of learning let's say tableau or power bi for example and you you literally want to also publish this project and let's say in about two months question now is what does this look like if you're working backwards right now i'll just ha highlight a few steps that we could just look into now the first step would be for you to literally familiarize yourself with this new tool right or this new visualization so that you want to learn so question is do you want to go on and like take a course on it or you want to use sample project as well to just familiarize yourself in, the, in this in this new um, tool then you also need to understand the project scope as well as the requirements right needed to even get started and also as well as the data you also need do you also need domain knowledge as well to, for you to be able to ac accomplish this task? Then you also start by creating a draft dashboard, right? And you continually review it and refine just to see where you can tweak all the two things in your visualization. So the thing is, it's literally like an ever looping cycle process, right? And now, what I want you to note is that while you're doing this, you're literally learning something. Now the other point would be also you could also share this dashboard to industry experts as well to, to help you review and also like probably share recommendations to if they even have any right um one thing project actually does for you is that um you are able to see loops and gaps as well to your learning and you also know how to approach them in order to like solve the gaps or the challenges that you actually may actually encounter when you feel you learn from the mistakes you made and it motivates you to actually work even harder so this is why i would highly as usual on this channel i highly recommend project based learning so you can try liking this to an exam right that have already been scheduled ahead of time for you to take every semester so yeah you know that regardless whether or not you know that you actually have to pass the exam to go to the next class or to be promoted so this is just how you can actually use the project as a way to actually get better and also improve your learning process and learn this faster. Now the fifth point will be for you to actually leverage on the new tools and technologies that we have. I mean, think about it, we have like tools like 
chat gpt out there we have even your google as well too also pomodoro right so this is like a technique where you actually like time box you're learning like i think 40 40 minutes intervals if i'm right yeah i think like 40 minutes intervals are like breaks in between right so leverage on your technology to ensure that you know how to actually time box your learning and at the same time reward yourself in between when you're learning right so pomodoro is a concept where you actually um dedicate about 40 minutes and then you have five minutes break or so five minutes or ten minutes break in between and then you go back to learning right so that way you're not just like learning at a stretch you're actually giving yourself some room to just relax your brain also ChatGPT is also there for you to leverage your phone right so ChatGPT has been like immense help in today's current world when it comes to learning something new because you literally can act to explain to you even to like the most basic term right so is it in terms of writing sql you can ask chatting to explain to you what this particular concept means right you're literally 10xing your learning process faster also you can also ask chatty to probably explain oh what does this particular library pandas mean that way it's also breaking into you such a way that you understand better terms so that's why you can actually leverage on chat gpt for things like this so in essence ensure you're leveraging like current tools and technology ensure you also even answer google right as if you feel like you really do not know how to go about or why you just stuck at a particular learning point it could probably be the fact that you literally do not know how to probably leverage on the tools and technology that are actually already available for you in this current day and age so please utilize the technologies that we have right now right i strive for those are the technical few and shorts also leverage on this 100 percent guys this point is for you to journal or write a technical article now you're actually doing this for yourself for yourself guys and not for anyone else i repeat for yourself I never really saw myself writing article or medium for anyone else but myself this for me really is um a way of actually reinforcing my learning and i think that's even like my bio or my profile right i wrote these articles as basic and as layman as they can get because it was my personal understanding right so it's how i understood it i would put it out there for me to refer ref refer to and not even anybody else and whatever we understand it i write it and then i publish it and now i even see that people are having to reference it or actually have them say to go back and read it for later right so now the whole point of this for me was to have something i could literally look back at if i had to revisit that topic again and lately i would say that they have literally been really helpful now typically these articles are pretty much the learnings i learned while taking the course so for example um when i just started out learning i actually started out learning data science right and i wrote an article that actually outlined the different metrics in evaluating algorithms and these were taken from my personal notes i compiled these notes together and put it as a single piece as an article on medium and right now i'm actually having to refer them in my current career advancement right so what that means is that most times it's actually for you to take down these notes for yourself think about it you're writing about this particular topic for yourself and not for anybody else so that you can actually go on and refer to it later on in the future if there's need for that this is one major thing that helps me personally and what i mean is that i actually broke down every little thing i knew or understood and i wrote them down and published them as an article for me on medium not anybody else but for me <laughs> right so this we are also able to explain to even other people how you understand it right you're able to explain it to them in a way they actually understand and not just from like a video you watch or a tutorial you probably took or even like a book or course you actually were reading from last point is actually community i know i've spoken about this a lot so i would say that you should actually refer to one of my videos we actually spoke about it i think i'll link it here that yet yeah, one of these places right she spoke in depth about how come it's actually very important for you as a person in summary as someone who's just getting to take a field and you want to learn a new skill fast the approach should actually be to learn one second they also build third one will be to also document and also ensure to also leverage all these tools that i've actually mentioned as well so like the technologies that we have available right so and also repeat this process so just look at this as um, an iterative model right and this an ideal loop for me right if you want to like break into the space or if you want to learn something faster or if you can skill faster so learn build leverage tools that are currently available right now also document your journey as well so write anything you've learned newly write on medium journal it and put it out there publish it out there for you to go back on to reference and also repeat this process right and also remember that you also need a community as well so it's just so that you have like a group of people readily available for you so this is more like an iterative loop for you to actually go on and follow with if you're just starting out as a data analyst or you want to break into this space right so now i would say that yes 
starting with these steps is good right but question is having to actually be consistent that's where the whole of that's actually how you actually strengthen your skills being consistent with this and ensuring that you're actually going on right and now that's where the real challenge is in psychology i believe um it said that repetition is the law of everlasting impression right and the more you actually rehash the steps the more you actually strengthen it as well too so in technical field the only way or would i say the only way to actually learn effectively is by actually working on projects and using these following steps are ways you can actually on and get better if you're looking to break into this field or just to be consistent or learn something fast or any new tool and language in any technical field or in technology general. At the end of the day, all you literally need to do is make a lot of mistakes to actually learn a new tool and technology or language fast. So don't keep on doing theory or tutorials right for too long, I would say, frankly speaking. Do not just do that or binge tutorials or binge um now nah, you say like escape from that <laughs> from that rabbit hole very fast because frankly speaking if you are being serious right now even with all the courses the tutorials the blogs the articles right the books that you even read at the end of the day all you need to do is actually make a lot of mistakes which is good and fine to actually learn and just even become better in this new tool or language or technology you're learning and when you keep on doing this following these practical steps and instead you will find out that you actually improve your learning process faster thanks so much guys for watching if you enjoyed this video ensure to give it a like please it does a lot to me we are very close to all subscribers and it would mean a lot to me if uh we actually hit that subscriber account for me personally and sure to also like as well so and also share to those who are looking to break into this field of internality and i would go on and read most of your comments as usual and respond to it as well too so have a great day guys and let me know if there's any other thing that truly works for you as a person um as you begin this journey into data analytics so please comment down below and also ensure to also engage by liking and sharing as well too. so have a great and productive day ahead guys